Hello everybody, in this Inksprout review I'm going to be telling you everything that you're going to need to know about Inksprout. If you do have any questions please just leave them in the comment section down below and also I'll be leaving a discount link down there so that you can always get your money's worth for Inksprout. So essentially, Inksprout allows you to come up with social media comments and, and bios for your posts through AI. Uh, you can also make videos and share the link to those posts with ease. So we're going to begin with this homepage. As you can see, we have the taskbar on the left and then we also have the dashboard for whichever section we've got selected. So under Inksprout, we have all videos, posts, news and favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and import a link. I've already got one selected, which is a BBC News link, and we're going to go ahead and hit import let's just put social media manager just just for simplicity as you can see what this will give us is it will give us a top five bits of information so we get a really good idea in a very short and concise space of what's going on in the article so as you can see, this is what we've got. Now, I have hit get a couple of times, but what this button does here is it gives us different things that it pulls out of the article. So each time I click it, it will give me a list of a different thing to do. For example, we've already got the top five things to know about the story, seven tips for keeping your dog safe. We've also got seven ways to make the most of your time with your dog. And then we've got some highlights from the news article. And this is this is essentially what this main page does. We can also go to videos. We can create videos here. Uh, posts, you can schedule posts. But this is mainly an area to see that everything that you've already done in these other sections. Under news, you can have a little look at some stories. If you happen to be a news social media account, you can have a little look at ones that may take your fancy and may be linked with the things that you report on. And then you can just go ahead and either favorite it remove it from your search results or you can go ahead and hit post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit post over here. This allows us to create a social post. As you can see we have the option for a prompt and a summary and then we can also have some text. So we're going to go ahead and put a prompt in. We're going to go ahead and put the BBC News article that we had previously in here. And these are the two bios that it tells us that we should put. So what we can do is we can link the post to the news article page and then go ahead and hit this copy button put this a few blocks down like that, and then put this above. And this is what a post would look like. You can then hit this connect button at the bottom to connect which social media accounts you want to post to. And then you can either schedule the post for a certain time, save it for another time, or go ahead and instantly post. Under summary, this will give you a summary that you can also copy and will, as soon as you press, will instantly copy and paste into your description. If I go ahead and hit text we can go ahead and search for quotes as you can see here are some that we've already got and you can also put these in if the quote so happens to relate to the news article and then you also have the caption button what the caption button allows you to do is enter hashtag keywords and you can get essentially different hashtags to put at the bottom to boost your engagement and to boost how many people are going to be seeing your post and this is essentially the posting side of the website. Moving over to collections, this is essentially where, similar to the first page, we have all of our posts, news, and favorites. So if I hit all, this views everything that I've got, and then I can make a post for any account that I want. This will instantly bring me back to the post aspect of the website. You also have this button here. If I go ahead and press it, this is the summarize text option. So if I were to go ahead and type in hello one two three testing and hit summarize, it says text is too short. But were I to import an entire news article, for example this paragraph here, we can go ahead and hit summarize. It will use the AI and summarize that little snippet of text that I've just imported. Now say for example you wanted a video to go alongside it. As you can see, this button here allows us to create an AI video. All you do is press the button and hit Create Auto. I have already done this because it does require some time to render. And once it's created, it will create something along the lines of this. Let's have a little bit of a watch. The top five things to know about the story of Pip the Wonder Pup. Pip is a dog who managed to find his way home through a busy city after getting separated from his owner on a walk. He passed some of Bristol's most iconic monuments on his 4.6 mile journey home. While his owner was searching for him, he managed to find his way to her house in just 90 minutes. Pip became a therapy dog in 2019 and is part of a program called Read Two Dogs, which helps children improve their literacy skills and well-being by reading to dogs. Ms. Bowles plans on writing a book about Pip's adventure around Bristol, which children can read back to him.
So as we can see, that's an example of a video that this would come out with, essentially summarizing the story in a really nice way, and it also adds some AI visuals from the internet that relate to what has just been said. We're now going to be moving on to automation. Now, what automation does is it has five different methods. We're going to start with a drip campaign. So enter, insert a URL to start the drip campaign. We're going to do the BBC link. We're going to go ahead and hit get. And what this allows us to do is select an account and it will essentially schedule over the course of 12 months, nine different posts about this story. These hashtags will be selected at random for each post, but these will be the ones that you'll find in the description. And then we have post captions. These are the captions that will be put on the post, and we have four different things to customize it to our liking. As we can see, one of the icons is a rectangle with two arrows pointing in, and then a rectangle with two arrows pointing out. This places some text in the middle of the sentence, and this places it on either end. As you can see, this essentially rewrites it in different ways, so it will still say the same information, but certain sections will be rewritten, and then this one allows you to completely edit it to your liking whilst also viewing the original. We're going to move on to video automation. Video automation, every time that you make a summary, it will create a video. So each time you create a post or create a news article, this creates a video that you can then put alongside it. And we've already seen one of those videos earlier. You can change the format by clicking video settings. As you can see, the color of the text in the video you can set to your liking, the position, style, and size of it. You can either choose to have the voiceover or not have the voiceover. You can choose the gender of it. You can include a brand cover at the end of yours. You can also have speed and aspect ratio. As well as that, if you hit activate, this will essentially make every single summary have a video. You can also make a summary for every RSS link that you have. So. RSS stands for really simple syndication. Essentially, it allows you to publish notifications of any incoming uh, content onto your social media page. So all you would need to do is insert your RSS link, hit start importing, and then your links will be rendered here, allowing you to use this. As we can see, we can also import a CSV file. Say, for example, we didn't want to have a news article and instead we had a big long text document that we wanted to use. Whilst having it in a CSV format, we can simply choose the file and review and upload. All you would need to do is get that file, you would hit choose file, import it, and then it will summarize it by hitting review and upload. You can also integrate this with any API that you want. For example, Zapier. Zapier is compatible with many different things, but say we took Discord, for instance, and you have a Discord server for you and your friends, and you wanted them to see when you release a new post. All you would do is generate an access token here, and you would use that in order for it to integrate. We're now going to move on to My Ink Sprout. This is a very simple section. As you can see, this shows us the social accounts that we want linked so that we can post on each of these three. As you can see, we also have a link shortener integrations and you can share these posts from the platform. So I don't have any imported at the moment. So this would also let you shorten your links. Under brand, this will be on the video cover. As you remember earlier in video settings, we can set a brand cover to appear at the end of the video. And if you just import your logo, add your name and enter a tagline and hit save, this will be optional as to whether you want this to appear at the end, but this is the area that you create that brand cover in. We've already been over video settings, so we'll skip past that. And then under summary settings, this says no limit is recommended, but these are the lyrics that you can set for when you put in a piece of text or a news article and it summarizes. So you can obviously set a limit to how many points you want it to generate. As you can see, the contents page is under beta testing at the moment, but all you would need to do is it gives you a sort of a calendar and you can create an idea. Let's say a what you're working on lately. We're going to set a time. We're going to do, we're going to select the 7th of October at the exact same time. We can set up a link for this. It will also give you a number of news articles. We're going to set the top one for ease. And then under text, you can select a prompt sentence. So I'm going to select this one here, and this will simply move it into my description. And then you can schedule that for posting. And finally, you can simply hit the upgrade button to upgrade your account. This is if you do want to unlock the premium features, and that's completely up to you. Just quickly in the bottom right, we have a support chat. You can simply use a live chat, composing your message, sending files and emojis, and somebody will be with you as soon as they possibly can. As you can see, this is one of their support staff. Uh, this is Masatoshi. And essentially, when you compose your message, he'll be, he will be with you as soon as you require. 
and then finally account. This will give you in your free version how many captions you've created, how many videos, and when you can next use all of your options. So you can use 15, roughly 15 per month. You can also install the extension for this, and you can also change your name, email, and password, and view your plan. And apart from that, that is Inksprout. So now it begs the question, do I recommend Inksprout? Now, Inksprout is very interesting because it is AI and AI is something that in this day and age is still sort of at its minimum. It's still working its way up to being something that we can use to automate almost anything. But for this, I think it's very, very good. I really like the, uh, the option of being able to create your own video. I think that's really, really impressive. I also like the fact that it summarizes bits from the article in a really easy way. And none of it is, you know, like English that sounds like someone from primary school has written. It's all very adult. It's all very well formatted. It's all very well written. And even though it was created by AI and created by computer, it's still very much readable and has no grammatical errors. So would I recommend it? Yes, I definitely would. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you found this review and demonstration helpful and I will see you next time. Goodbye.